Uh, my name is Dr. Mary Mugo. I am born and bred in Bere, so I am a proud Mumbere. In uh, French, we say Mumbere Karinga. And um, I, I had been invited by the Honorable Masters, the MCA for Kiambere Ward, uh, where he was um, appreciating and congratulating those that have made it to university. And I must say that this is the first that I've seen and I've heard, and so I want to congratulate the Honorable MCA for Kiambere Ward. And uh, basically what uh, we were talking about is to encourage the students and them to know how to go about choosing their courses because many times they are confused, they don't know what to do. And so we have had the opportunity to let the students know how do they go about choosing their courses. For example, I would advise a student to you know, think about their interests, what is it that they have interest on, to think about the course that they feel they want to do. And above all things, not to do courses because people are doing them and not to do courses because they want jobs but you do a course that you enjoy doing. We've also been able to um, advise students on uh, the kind of university you need to choose. Uh, for example, I have seen over the years, many people want to go as far as possible. In fact, I remember I just asked them, some of them, where they want to go. There's one who wanted to go all the way to Pwani from Bere, because many of them basically want to go as far as possible. But I have, I have, I've been able to uh, advise them and to look at location, to look at cost, to look at the courses that the university offers. For the simple reason, the more, you, the more courses the university offers, the better for you as a student, because you can do what we call intra-faculty inter -faculty, uh, changes. We've also been able to talk generally about life in campus, where we are saying that, yes, you'll go to campus, there will be a lot of things that you'll be told, but it is always important to understand you get into the university alone, you will come alone, the, 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 you know, the, the certificate is for you alone. So I've been able to have a dialogue on why it is important as a student to take your work seriously from the beginning. And of course, we all know these are young girls and young boys who just left school. Actually, most of them probably were in day schools, which is uh, really good. And uh, in day schools, everything is controlled by the parents, by the teachers. But we've been able to have a chat on how the freedom that comes into going to the university, the essence of understanding that freedom comes with the responsibility. Because if you can go to the university, nobody wakes you up, nobody tells you what to do. But at the end, you've got to go to class, you've got to pass. We've also been able to touch a few issues on uh, the marketable courses in terms of business, in terms of employment. But I've made it very clear, which I would want to tell our viewers, that actually the degree you do is not really what matters. It is what you do with the degree that you have. In other words, for me, applied knowledge is power. So I would advise every student, and I would, I would encourage leaders to actually do what uh, Honorable Masters is doing, because these kids may not know much. They, some of them go to the university and they get lost. I have been a dean of faculty for years until the other day, and I've seen students struggle, others are discord, because they did not have a chance or an opportunity like the ones these ones of Kiambere Award have been. So that is what we've been discussing, and I'm sure now they are better, they are more knowledgeable, and they know what to do and how to do it. And then, of course, we've talked of um, how do you ensure that you're picked by coops the first time? What, how do you fill those universities to ensure that you're picked the first time? Yeah. That